A man takes a long road trip with his family and stops at a random gas station. As he walks past the payphone, it rings. He answers. It's for him. An airman becomes a prisoner of war in Vietnam. While he endures six years of harsh captivity, a 16-year-old cheerleader prays for him every night. 40 years later, their paths cross in a 55,000-seat baseball stadium. According to best-selling authors Squire Rushnell and his wife, Louise Duart, these aren't mere coincidences, but divine appointments. They call them Godwinks. In their new book, The Godwink Effect, they share secrets to seeing God's signs, wonders, and answered prayers. Well, joining me now are dear friends, authors, Squire Rushnell and Louise Duarte, and we are so excited to have you here. Oh, thank you. And excited about your newest project, The God Wink Effect, because we've been talking about God Winks over the last few years. You started writing, what, 15 years ago? That's right. Ab about this, but for Many people who... written while we were here and you guys were doing your show. Yes. I was writing, you were, writing I books. I remember that, hearing yeah. the rat-a-tat-tat. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the gnashing of teeth. Yeah, yeah. Yes. <laughs> Talk about the God wink effect. What do you mean when you say well, the that? The God wink effect is uh, almost the accumulation of what we have learned about God winks. Fifteen years ago, I had no idea what a God wink was. I, I was just starting to be fascinated with coincidences. Uh -huh. And this little word God wink came into my mind and I thought, wow, what a nice little word that is. You know, it's like God speed, God yes. send, God wink. And um, I realized that if there was no coincidence to coincidence, we needed something to call it yes. if it came from a divine source. So this little word God wink, yeah. I put into my manuscript and it fit. Yeah. And then when I started talking to people about God winks, they got it immediately. And it started going into the language, started going into dictionaries. Mm -hmm. And so now here we are. It's a it's a word. It's it a, reminds me of the one of the Jewish names for for God, which is Jehovah Roi, the God who I'm the God who sees you. Oh, yeah. you know? that's, <laughs> that's right. That's yeah, right. it is. Well, the, the Hebrew language also has beshert, yeah. which which is um, that there are no uh, coincidences in life. Your your um, your perfect love has already been chosen mm -hmm. yes. while you're in the womb. Yes. Mm -hmm. and, wow. and there's no word coincidence in the Hebrew language yeah. because they believe everything That's comes right. everything from comes God. From the Father. Yeah. So there is no coincidence. Yeah, right. Your subtitle is Seven Secrets to God's Signs, Wonders, and Answered <clears throat> Prayer. What do you what do you mean by that? What's the first one? Well the first secret is P-R-A-Y, pray. Yeah. The more you pray, the more God winks you will have. Because God wants to talk to you, yeah. and he wants, to, he wants you to talk to him, yes. and he wants to talk back to you. And the little God winks are his way of nonverbally communicating with you. Yeah. So the more you pray, the more God winks you're going to have. And Louise, one of the things you all write about in the book is that it's important to ask. You would think that we would know that, mm -hmm. but but sometimes we think of God as being kind of up there and busy and far away. He well, wants yeah, us to ask. That's right. And a lot of people think, oh, I can't ask him for that, you know, yeah. because that's not, that's, this is some little thing. I'll, if, and I won't ask for myself, yes. but that's not what God yeah. says. He wants us to ask and come before him humbly. Yeah. The thing that I find with God winks is that people look at them as handrails. Yeah. You know, they start seeing their life as a plan and a purpose, that we are not a twig going down a stream, yes. destinations unknown. God has a, in, in Jeremiah tells us, he has a plan and a purpose for our life. Well, how do we tap into that? We have to open up not just yeah. our human eyes, but our spiritual eyes have to connect. With, we have to have the mind of Christ and the eyes of Christ. Yeah. Mm. And you talk about trusting that. Yeah. In of the course. book, you know, walking that with expectancy in yes. a sense. Right. Yeah. I want you to tell me Kate's story. I love that story in the book yeah. because okay. it's one of those God winks that's astonishing, well, really. Well, Kate was um, 
a delightful person who had the goal, and she still does, of making one person uplifted every single day by That's something that she would thought. do. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and so she got the perfect job after she had a series of terrible uh, health issues and financial issues. She got a part-time job at Cracker Barrel. And they put her at the cash register, which was perfect for her because she could say hello to people and say, come back again and <laughs> have a wonderful time. She was really wrestling, though, with a very serious problem. Her son was getting married in Arizona. She was living in Florida. And she couldn't afford to go. Mm -hmm. And he couldn't afford to buy her a ticket. And so every day she did secret number one. She prayed and she said, God, if you want me at that wedding, mm -hmm. you will make the way. And then she, so she asked and she believed that mm -hmm. God would be able to answer her prayer, and she had an expectancy yeah. that her prayer was going to come Even true. Even the day of, the well, day before the wedding. Well, it was the evening before, wow. and she, there she was at the cash register, and somebody came by and said, why aren't you at your son's wedding? Well, she didn't know what to say about that, but just then, she looked up and there were two flight attendants and the flight <laughs> attendant from Southwest said, your, 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 your son's getting married? And she said, yeah, but I can't afford to go and so forth. Then she tried to make a joke out of it and so forth. And a few minutes later, the flight attendants had left and they came back and they had smiles on their faces. And they said, can you get tomorrow off? And the, and the girl next to her and said, said oh, sure, I can take her shift for her. She said, we found two buddy passes in our bag wow. in the car, one ticket to get you there and one ticket to get you back. They took out their phone and started making the reservations. She was on the first flight in the morning. She got to her son's wedding. She believed. Yes. She prayed and she asked. Yes. Mm. I mean, it's... It, the, the stories in here are astonishing. Do you have a favorite, Louise? Well, you know, there's, there's so many favorites. There was one we actually found from the 700 Club was the two guys. One had given them a kidney transplant. Yes. It all had to do with So Mercy For Me. One yes. was hearing a song, So Mercy For Me. And he met up with a pastor. He said, oh, that's my favorite song. They hadn't met each other. And then for some reason, the pastor went on this guy's Facebook post and saw that his wife had posted he needed a kidney. And God said, you're the one. He goes in there. He gives him his kidney. But then after the operation, the pastor finds out if he did not give his kidney to this man, he would have died because he had an embolism that was hiding behind the kidney. I mean, it just and, goes on and on. But you know, that's one of the things you yeah. say in the book is that these Godwinks are seldom just connected to one person. There's that's an right. intricacy to how God works. I think of how we talk about that, the great yeah. tapestry that God yes. is creating in he's all of us. He's the weaver. Right. What do you want the takeaway to be? Well, I want the takeaway to be hope mm, and encouragement. Yes. That's yeah. basically what it is. And, and when you read this book and you read these stories about real people who are just like you, mm -hmm. they, can, they happen to all of us. God winks happen to everybody. Yeah. And our plan is to get everybody to open their eyes. They are like gifts left on the doorstep. Mm -hmm. We're just trying to give you the keys mm -hmm. to help you to unlock the door and open your gift. Well, mm -hmm. God is big and his love is deep. And it's all talked about in the story shared in this book called The God Wink Effect, Seven Secrets to God. Signs, Wonders, and Answered Prayers. And it's available wherever books are sold. Thanks, you two. Thank We're going to watch too. for those Hallmark movies that are coming yes. as part of this. We're Absolutely. so excited about that. Yeah. God wink Hallmark awesome. movies. Yep. Yep.